Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this little let's play of XCOM UFO Defense. Or, or however you want to call it, whatever you want to call it, because the game has so many titles depending on where it was bought and published. Uh, but you might, you might as well stick to XCOM, I suppose. That is what the franchise became known as, after all. Um, we're still waiting for things to arrive at our base, right? Transfer. Cancel. That's not what I was after. Um. Oh, there we go. That's everything that's inbound. Nine hours for most of the stuff. All the equipment we need. And there's no UFOs about. We aren't gonna pick up that other one. Yeah, you know what? Return to base. We're almost out of fuel anyway, so. Yeah, that's fine. Let's kick up speed. There we go. Um, that's just equipment for the ship. We aren't gonna need to emergency launch anything, so. No need to worry about that just yet. That, on the other hand, we have to deal with. Quick craft. Yeah, this could leave us vulnerable if a UFO shows up just as I'm rearming, but it also means I can get rid of everything that isn't avalanche stuff. You are gonna need more avalanche missiles then. Can get rid of that. Yeah, we probably are going to need another general stores, aren't we? Yeah, let's do that. We are going to need storage space. Hopefully there no, won't be a UFO just yet. Okay, find more people. Uh, bases, let's boost our research with the new scientists. And let's have a look at the new soldiers. What are your stats? Oh my goodness. Definitely a coward. You know what, I'm gonna switch these marksman things to only apply to Firing accuracy above 60, I think. Let's do that. Let's... Uh, you're still a C. You're okay. Um, I'm gonna put B. 40 and above. No wait, we wanted that at 60, right? Firing accuracy at 60. Or higher. Like this one. Oops, uh, one click too many there. Um, Raven Martin, not N. Ugh. You're not actually above 60. Yeah. 
That seems fine. Let's have a look here then. We have one, two, three, four, five soldiers. Five, maybe more. Six soldiers with acceptable uh, hit rates. Fair few with acceptable bravery stats. And a fair few with horrible, horrible bravery stats. But basically they're all marked with either C or C or B at this point. Cowards or coward or braver. Cowards and brave people, yeah. I suppose I could switch that out. C only for 20 and below. Ah, it's gonna be a lot of fiddling here. Um, but I'm gonna do it anyway. It's going to be 50 and above. And you're not going to have a C, that's going to be 20 and below. some of them wrong <laughs> it's gonna be fine I think we went the rounds now yeah okay so now that's gonna be a now it's gonna be a bit easier to see so the ones with C only are the ones that are basically throwaway soldiers at this point because they can't shoot well and they are cowards Whereas the ones with BM are the ones that are very, very, very valuable. The ones I have to be really cautious about. Uh, Bs are pretty good, and the ones without any markers are uh, acceptable people that might actually get skills eventually. Okay, that's going to be that for micromanagement. Uh, yeah, onwards. Research completed, good. Uh, not okay, whoops. Supposed to allocate research. Oops. Because we need to start. Oh yeah, we have all the alien stuff now, but we're gonna continue with lasers. We are gonna need laser rifles ASAP. Um Right, we did get more of the missiles, right? Intercepts already, good. Sky Ranger, I'm gonna fiddle a bit with your makeup. Hmm, I'm gonna use the cowards and the in-betweeners, primarily. Because the cowards are the ones I can throw away. I might want to just keep the ones with good stats until, until I have better armor. Until my soldiers can actually, like, survive. You're a coward, but also a marksman. Um, yeah, the BMs, I'm definitely going to save for a while. I mean, they could use the experience, I can't deny that, but... Uh, they need to live. <laughs> okay, more rifle clips. Let's see, we need two rifle clips per soldier. One grenade per soldier. One small grenade per soldier. And we can't even fit all the electro flares, okay. Yeah, right, we can only have 80 items in total aboard the, sh the Sky Ranger. So, that's the problem. And that's all, also the one reason why I really, really, really want laser weapons. Because they don't carry ammunition. They have endless, endless supply of ammunition. And that means you free up a lot of space. But again, that's also why we've simplified the layout of oh, the um, inventory there. Why I sold all the heavy weapons and all that fun stuff. Might come to b bite me in the butt at some point. No UFO. Oh, um. Dang it. 
Well, this is gonna be a night mission if I launch now. Night missions can be horrible. I have no vision whatsoever. <clears throat> nah, not, nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? I could wait, but then the UFO might take off, so... And right now we do have the Electro Flares, we should be able to get something down there. Uh, come to think of it, I probably should send one Interceptor out there, in case that UFO takes off before I, my Sky Ranger arrives. I could delay and wait for the sunrise, but... Hmm. It's gonna be very early in the morning, it's gonna be completely dark, yeah. Around 4 p.m. local time by the looks of things. Ah, that's the annoying part. They don't actually equip the Electro Flares. So I have to do that manually. That is kind of annoying. And I don't think it'll remember this either. So I'll have to do this on every single mission. I think. I don't recall. It's been, as I said, it's been quite a while since I played the game. Well, we'll get this done. That's all the equipment we had. And as you can see, it's going to be pitch dark. Which is going to be very, very dangerous. Which means I'm going to lose people here, I'm almost certain of that. Um, I could probably stand to use items because of that. See, that's the that's the regular grenade, not that one. Uh, yeah, prime the grenade. No timer. And throw it. Um, there. Unable to throw. Are you kidding me? There you go. Uh, with a timer of zero, I would expect it to go off immediately, but apparently that's not the case. Hmm. Whoops. Similarly... We're just gonna light up the local area here, I think. I mean, again, it won't hurt us because the aliens have perfect 2020 vision even during the night. We, on the other hand, can't see anything at all. Okay, that's your grenade, and by the looks of things, this is actually the corner of the map. Okay, whoops. Never mind then. Yeah, go and sit behind the landing wheel there. For now. And I guess the smoke grenade, yeah, that's gonna take a while then. It's gonna fire up by the time all our people are outside. Um, Time to throw it, I do. Uh, come on. Throw. Throw it to there ish. Okay, so this isn't the end of the map. No, I know that. I'm gonna 
I'll learn to use grenades in this game, maybe. Unable to throw here, really. Okay, there then. No. Oh, that's why you were unable to draw. Because there was a hedge in the way. I'm not gonna dare move more people out. Simply because we can't see, but the aliens can. And that is quite terrifying. So I do expect to have a fair bit of uh, losses on this one. And that's all of them. Okay, fine. End turn. Right, that was a smoke grenade. Scared me for a moment. And we heard doors. And the reason for this, the smoke grenade, is basically that's gonna um, make sure that the aliens can't see a damn thing within this little area. Uh, you used your Electro flare. Now where is that flare? It's there, isn't it? Yep, there it is. So we'll pick it up. And throw it again. Like there. And if you had movements left, I would have moved you into the smoke, but... Oh, you did have it! Good. Let's see, you still have an Electro Flare. I thought the, I thought the rifles were two-handed. Uh, had I known this, I would have... Uh, had I known that, I would have equipped them right away. Okay, you're gonna move a little bit ahead. Throw the grenade into the darkness. And stay right there, please. grenade. Okay, now we can probably move out. The smoke should obscure us from the aliens. At least I hope it will. I'm not entirely sure if you have to be deep within it or if it's okay to be just at the edge of it. Um, no, maintain for a snapshot just in case. Gonna be an exercise in how many troops can I lose and how fast can I lose them? <laughs> um, you guys just move forward. The good thing about the electro flares is that they will be recovered, so you won't actually have to replace them. Uh, unless, of course, you blow them up on the battlefield, that's actually quite possible. all the troops, so... Right, your four guys, you are done. And I believe we've already 
moved everyone else. Yeah, that's gonna be fine. Let's give the aliens a chance to kill us. Oh, there's a sectoid. Okay, so now we know there's an alien over... Where was that? Here. Yeah, we briefly saw it. But he didn't see us. Thank goodness for that. Do you have a... You do not have a... Darn, darn it. Uh, you do. Good. I need you to shed some light on this area here. Can I throw that far? Can I throw there? Unable to throw. Okay, I can throw there. Oh, whoops! Double click. So he decided to move all the way out there. Uh, yeah, you're dead. You are so dead. Why won't you do that? You should be able to move along the hedge here. Oh, okay, so I just have to do it in two, step, two operations. Yeah, you're dead. You are probably gonna die too. Should I keep her in reserve? I mean, she is promoted at this point. I'm gonna do this. Just in case. Let's see if that works. If she's still in hiding there. Might work. You still have a grenade. You're gonna use it. If you're good at throwing, come on. Good. And you probably don't have enough time units for an aim shot. No, so you need a snapshot. And stay just in the edge of the obscurity there, please. You threw your grenade. No, you didn't. Good. So we need to throw this one. Can you throw that far? Awesome. Light up the cornfield. And stand just at the edge of this edge of the smoke there, please. You don't have a gun. Or I don't have a grenade. Move to the edge of the smoke for now. Yeah, standing in smoke is gonna make them sleepy. That's the downside of it, but I think that's a fair trade-off. Risk your life. Spread you out. Leroy! You still have full movement. Um, and a grenade. Or other flare. Um, come on, throw. There ish.
Hmm. Ah, why can't it remember the ones I've already moved a little bit? I'm gonna keep the last two in the shuttle for now. I can just click the right square, there we go, and that's gonna be it. A lot of reaction fire and the all down mist. Well then, um Well, you're a coward and a marksman, that's why I'm gonna use you first. If he gets fired upon, that's actually fine. I mean if he dies, that's he's a coward, so. That on the other hand can improve his skills. So, one down. And still no fatalities. <laughs> uh, but I do believe it is time for a break though. So, we're gonna do that and we're gonna see if we can finish this map up next time. Thank you for watching.